Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Yes, we are gonna talk about shape shifter, shifters today. Shape shifters, that's what it is. I can't hardly say it. Shape shifters squad number one. So obviously right away, that's telling us that we are getting more than one squad. This is probably gonna be a two week promo, whether it's a full two weeks, whether it's a week and a half, we'll have to figure that out next week. But that means two squads. Uh, and I want to talk about all the content that was dropped today. I want to talk about the squad. I want to talk about the market movements that we had today, the SBCs, the objective, and of course, what is a promo Friday and another day on foot without some EA mess ups. There was some content dropped late tonight as I'm recording this video that you guys are probably going to be waking up to and seeing uh, that you need to know about because another EA mess up um, needs to be noticed and it can't just go unnamed and un uh, and unmentioned so we're going to talk about that because uh i don't know if it says yes here they are man of the match items are now in packs again friday nights man friday nights are man of the match nights and it looks like uh they're going to be upgrading these cards and putting out man of the matches lickety split they're going to be doing it pretty quick so also, the uh, we had some upgrades on Road to the Final Cards, and that's going to be part of the talking point that we talk about tonight, is that this Jimenez, this Torreya were upgraded, and they shouldn't have been. EA is going to revert those ratings, and then the UCL stuff did get upgraded correctly, uh, and we'll talk about that a little bit as well. But first of all, I want to look at the stuff that came out today uh, for today's promo, because... I think this is uh, this is important, right? I think this stuff is important. That's what we're here to talk about first. We can we'll focus on this stuff first and talk about EA's mess ups later. Uh, but we did get this new card design today with these new cards. The position changes, uh, the messy um, center forward position change shape shifters card. Now you know what? Usually we're used to having a center forward version of Messi in FIFA, but this year we don't. We really don't have a center forward me uh, version of Messi, um, other, actually we don't have any at all. We have all right wing Messi's and this is our first one that we do have as a center forward. So I think that's kind of interesting that they haven't, Messi has not gotten a special card or anything like that. That is a center forward card this year. So they were able to throw him into this team. Solid looking card. Of course, it's, it's not much of an upgrade, uh, over this 96. It's really not much of an upgrade at all. He's plus one shot, minus one defense, plus one physical. That's literally the only changes on this card. So it's just a position change, new dynamic image. It looks cool, right? Of course, a new Messi card in the game. Uh, some people will be drawn to it. Uh, but this squad of players that we got today, we're going to take a look at them on Footbin. I want to talk about this because I think they did a pretty decent job with the team selection. Of course, considering now this is a two-week promo, uh, the guys that we're getting in Team 1, there's some highlights in here. There's a lot of just cool cards that I think are going to be very useful in foot. Uh, this is kind of like what I mentioned yesterday in my video, heading into this promo, has a foot birthday vibe to it, right? With the position changes, um, with the stat upgrades, David Luiz with the CDM card, now this is just mental, uh, insane, insane boost, 1.3 million as he should be, Marcelo with a really crazy looking card, Ben Yedder with the right wing, uh, as expected, Mertens with the left wing, no dynamic image yet, um, Renato Sanchez left back looks interesting. I like the Lucas card uh, just because as a Spurs fan, that's a lovely looking card. And then Mbappé looks pretty dope as well. But again, the, I think that the, the card, the player selection out of this group is, is decently solid. I'm a fan of it at all, right? It's cool. Uh, Hotbauer, I don't know how to say his name. He had a great game in the Champions League uh, first round. Right back card here, right back in the Serie A. We always need those, right? Uh, don't have too many of those. We have Florenzi. He's not in the Serie A anymore, but don't have too many right backs in the Serie A. Other than that, like Mars is a sweet card. Um, a lot of this just basically enables you to throw some new cards in your team, basically. So that's the whole point of this promo. Kane's looks all right. Uh, Nandez looks okay, too. Just uh, cool new cards, I guess, is what you could say. Not that we need a lot of new cards in this game, but that's how EA, EA makes money. So they're going to be dropping new cards cards. That's just kind of what they do, right? So it was another promo Friday where we actually had new cards dropped on the game per usual. We had an SBC and an objective. I was a little bit surprised that we had both an SBC and an objective uh, today dropped. A lot of times they don't drop both of those. They do one or the other, but today we actually did get both. And, and one thing I'm going to talk about with this promo is, as you can tell already, here's Acuna, a objective, right? A lot of these players were starting to see multiple special cards for, right? David Luiz, 
He had the flashback SBC, which a lot of people did. That card is in my team. He's in this promo. Atal. Um, I guess he didn't. Does Atal have a, uh, a, another special card? Atal has a footmiss card. That's what it was. Atal had the footmiss right back SBC. That's why I'm remembering him. Um, and then as we look through the rest of the squad, Idrissa Gay had a CDM Champions League road to the final SBC. And then, of course, Mbabu has the Europa League card. So there's a few guys that are in this team that we're starting to see. And, of course, with Acuna as well, we're starting to see like more than one special card put out for these guys over the course of the year, especially for promo cards. Uh, and why are we seeing that? Honestly, I think we're seeing it because EA is just when they continue to put out promos and they continue to put out content new cards, new promotions like this one, uh, they're going to have to reuse players. Of course, you could say, Nate, there's so many players in the world. Why do they have to reuse players? Well, they have to use players that are going to sell packs. They're going to make people interested in this game, right? So that's why they have to reuse some of these players um, and because they want people to open packs. That's also why they reuse them. But it's, it's just going to happen. We have all of these promos. They're going to have to repeat some players with special cards because there's just not enough players that they think they can use uh, by using totally random ones. They have to use some of the household names and some of the favorites, right? I mean, uh, some of the even FIFA favorites, like that David Luiz. It just makes sense that they put him in a promo like this because they want people to open packs and try to get that card. Now, we looked at the SBC or the objective Acuna, and if you're a, and if you're a uh, grinder of the objectives, that's a great one for you to go after. I don't, you know, it looked kind of hard. There were five different things here, but let's let me check it again. I didn't check it really thoroughly the first time I looked at it. We have um, squad battles. We have rivals. We have assist two goals and squad battles wins. Three rivals wins. Uh, score in 10 separate rivals wins using using Argentinian players. So this doesn't look terrible. The, this one's probably going to be a pain. Scoring in 10 rivals wins with an Argentine and then the other rivals wins one. Doesn't look too terribly bad though. Solid card, of course. Acuna. A lot of people use him in this game. So if you're an uh, if you're an objective grinder, that one's for you. If you have your Serie A squad, you need a center attack in mid. This Mkhitaryan card, I don't think looks too, it doesn't look too bad to me. Pretty good agility and balance. Good attack positioning. He's going to be pretty solid. He's got high medium work rate, so he won't track back too much. He's got that five-star weak foot. He's got the four-star skills. I think this SBC is around 150,000 coins. And if I were one of you guys, if I was thinking about doing this SBC, I would do it sooner rather than later because high-rated gold cards are still cheap. Um, because a lot of people haven't been investing in them. They have been investing in them and then, uh, they're not rising. So people are selling those cards and it's keeping them low. And of course we don't have a ton of like repeatable SBC content that's making people want to, to get those cards on the game, but oh, an okay day, a solid day for start one of the shapeshifters promo. Again, we're just starting to get used to all of these promotions coming out every single week. We have new cards and packs. We have an SBC. And we have an objective, and this kind of just what we're used to, right? It's kind of getting, I hate to say old, that we're getting content. We always want content. We know that's what we always ask for, but it just it's starting to come in the same way, and it's maybe getting a little bit old. But at least we have some new cards that are kind of cool. Uh, and I, I just, I hope they step up their game this next week with this promo, with the SBC content. I really hope that they step it up because I feel like it needs to be stepped up. Um, we had a really good precedent set during headliners. We had a lot of great SBCs that came out during the first week of headliners. Literally, we got a moments SBC, we got a flashback or a headliners SBC, like every single day we had a different player SBC. Now I'm not asking for every single day, but how about every other day we get a player SBC? That would be cool. And I think that would be doable, um, for EA based on what they've done before. So that's my little spiel on today's content. We'll have to see what comes on Saturday and Sunday before we really start to get a grasp on what this promo is really all about. Um, but I guess we can know and we can note that it is, um, it's going to be another just, you know, kind of similar promo structure from EA Sports. Now, I want to talk about the next thing, and that is Man of the Match Champions League items have come onto the game. The pack code was released earlier tonight. And Mr. Holland got himself another special card. He's 88 rated now. If you check this guy out, look how many special cards this guy has gotten in like the span of two months. We are in the middle towards kind of middle half end of February. This guy has gotten, I mean, this was from earlier in the year, but the dude has gotten an inform. That was in January. He's gotten this uh, FFS card, the Future Stars. He's gotten a player of the month. And now he has this. He's gotten four new special cards in the past like month and a half, two months, which is crazy. He's been killing it. It's deserved. 
uh, but it's just crazy how many special cards that he has gotten. So we have this new one. Uh, he will not get a dynamic image. It's the same thing with all of the new man of the matches and the regular man of the matches and these Champions League and Europa League man of the matches. They don't get dynamic images. Uh, the Gulashi, the goalkeeper for Leipzig also got in. Uh, Diago Jota, Lodi, Renan Lodi got in. Uh, Coates and then a bunch of other of the Europa League cards got in. Bukayo Saka is another one. It's probably something to note. Uh, as an Arsenal player, there's probably some guys that are interested in this. An English left back, he does have 50 defense. So if you're using this card, then you probably should not be. But it is what it is. Uh, we have new cards like this in the game. And again, it's Man of the Match Friday, right? They drop these cards every Friday night on FIFA for the past couple weeks. They've been dropping Man of the Matches, but they don't tweet them out. They don't tell anybody about them. And again, that's where we are with these new Man of the Match cards. We really have no information they didn't tell us they were coming out, right? All of a sudden, they pop up in-game. They're in packs until Tuesday night again, but what that actually means is they'll be in packs until Wednesday night turning into Thursday before Weekend League Rewards. That's when these cards will be in packs. This screen is actually false uh, because in-game, we know that they're in packs for an extra day. So whatever EA is trying to do with that, that needs to stop as well, in my opinion. So there's just, right now, the, the animosity towards EA is just kind of high right now. And that's what I want to talk about next um, with uh, in regards to these Champions League cards and their upgrades. So they just downgraded these cards. If you would go back to the beginning of the video when we looked at these, Jimenez was an 86 rated and Torreya was an 87. And they just downgraded these cards back to where they should be because just a little bit ago on foot, uh, we found out that these cards were upgraded. Again, lack of communication here by EA. They don't tweet out Man of the Matches, and they don't tell us when these upgrades go live because they put these Man of the Matches in. We have to rely on other people in the game to see this and tweet it out. So Foothead tweet, tweets out that we are getting Man of the Matches. They also tweet out this. Man of the Match, or Road to the Finals get upgraded, and they upgraded some of the Europa League ones, which they should not be upgrading according to their own rules that EA set. These cards should not have been upgraded until the second leg of the round of 32 had been played because right now the Europa League is in the round of 32 and the, the Champions League is in the round of 16. That's why the Champions League cards like Sancho, Gomez, Party, Konate, and Angelino got upgraded because they were due the upgrade because there's one less round in the Champions League. So they get upgraded for that first leg win, which is correct. But these three cards should not have been upgraded. And that's why that's what prompted EA to tweet this. Just a little bit ago, they said, hey, folks, some Europa League live to the road to the final player items were incorrectly upgraded. They are currently being reverted back to their correct ratings. And of course, whenever something benefits us as the consumer in this game of FIFA, a lot of times instead of just letting instead of EA just letting that happen and let it say, OK, we messed up. We're just going to leave it the way it is because we messed it up and we'll just be nice and let that card stay upgraded. What do they do? They go and wipe the upgrade right away. What does that do? I mean, that burns some people on the market. There's probably people that saw Torreya got upgraded tonight and they thought, yo, I'm gonna go try it for my team. Uh, and then all of a sudden, boom, Torreya is no longer upgraded. So Torreya was 290 when he got this upgrade. I'm really curious to see, is he still 290,000 coins? Okay. He's dropped a little bit. There's a couple of undercut listings. So it's nighttime on the market right now, but I do think you would see this price drop a little bit um, in the morning because it'll be reverted back to normal. There, there was a little bit of hype there for a second with this. But again, Jimenez, Torreya, it just, it just bugs me. Why can't we get the little things right in this game? Party and Sancho, however, did get upgrades. Again, Party, can we give him the 80 pace, please? Can we give him the Hullet Gang card? That would have been dope. Uh, but these cards did get upgraded. Sancho, uh, I think, I want to take a look at these graphs for a second as well. I think Sancho is like 220K, 230K right now. Somewhere in that price range-ish. Let me take a peek on Footbin at his card. Because it looks pretty rare at the moment. And I'm kind of interested in this because uh, Jadon Sancho, of course, we have another man of the match card for, her, uh, for Holland. And Sancho today was like, 200,000 coins all day. The upgrade happened. I think he shot up like 15, 20 K. So right now he's 208. Interesting. So we got the upgrade and he really hasn't moved much in price. I don't think a lot of people were expecting this upgrade to happen so fast. Is this card going to go up? I feel like it should. He was like 160, 
50, 60, 70,000 coins before the upgrade or before they played and they won. He went to like 230, 240. Now that he does have the upgrade, what's going to happen? I don't know, man. It just kind of depends. I don't know how many people are invested in these cards, but for a lot of these cards, they seem to be uh, pretty rare. And even after the panic selling for some of these Champions League games, we're going to be talking about this next week. These cards are still really rare on the market. So if I see a Sancho back at around 200,000 coins, I might be going ahead to pick that up. Even 208 to me seems pretty cheap. If I can get one at like 205 or under, maybe like 200 flat, if somebody would want to relist it there, then I would probably snag that because I, I do think it could be 230K. I mean, he got a decent upgrade. Uh, he got a plus two shooting. He got plus two passing, plus one pace, plus one dribbling, plus one defense, and plus two physical. So again, uh, Jaden San Jaden Sancho, I never know how to say his name. I think it's Jaden. Jaden Sancho did get an upgrade. Party as well, which party is interesting to me because his price literally has barely moved at all. I think he's uh, he's right down at a hundred thousand coins, maybe a bit under a hundred k. Yeah, he's under a hundred k for this card, and that's he was like a hundred and twenty thousand coins right after they won their game. Yeah, he's 90, 95, 96, 96, 97,000 coins for this party card. So if they would have given him the 80 pace, he would probably be like 10 to 15K more. That's how important the face stats are for some of these cards. But let's talk about the market a little bit more. That's enough talking about those Champions League cards. Uh, again, a little bit at the end there. I'm just surprised they got updated now. Usually they waited to upgrade all those cards until the very end. Uh, and as long as EA doesn't revert these Champions League cards back, then I think they're just going to be updating them faster and their, their plan is to be upgraded them quicker. So that is good to note for the future with other Champions League Road to the Finals that will get upgraded. But for the rest of the market today, heading back over to Footbin, take a quick look at this. Um, there was some panic selling headed in the promo you can see here. We got down to a little 81 points in the index special. It rose back up a tiny bit, but not much. Again, if you guys are looking for stuff to do on trading every single Friday when we have a new promo, you're going to be able to do this next Friday as well. People panic sell cards all the time around that 6 p.m. content drop. Look at some of the cards that have rebounded uh, since the in the last couple hours. Kyle Walker, 250,000 coins for his right back in form. Now, of course, when you're going to buy these cards, and I want to talk about this a little bit, this is some trading you guys can do every single weekend with the promo. Kyle Walker was 220,000 coins right before the content drop today. He was 225 after the content drop. And now he's back at 250. What happens? Why is this the thing? Well, people panic sell their cards because they don't know what's coming for the promo. They don't want to lose coins. They know that there's new cards coming, right? So they panic sell. Then they have to go buy their team back when they realize, okay, there's nobody in this promo that I want to actually put in my team. So that's why you saw a person like Kyle Walker rise back up. Um, my advice is you can always do this. You can do this every single week. Here's a Fabinho. This card probably fluctuates every single week from the content drop on Friday to the, like the content drop time to end of the night, Friday night into Saturday morning when people are buying back their teams for weekend league, right? Fabinho is 80,000 coins today at the, at a low point, right around the content drop 6 PM UK when the new promo came out. Quickly after that, he's up 10,000 coins. So you're making 5,000, 6,000 coins a card right now on Fabinho if you did that. Of course, how do you choose these cards? What are cards that go up every week after some panic? You have to look at meta, you have to look at linkable, and you have to look at like, basically when you're playing weekend league, pay attention to the squads that you're coming up against, right? Pay attention to the squads that you are coming up against. What cards do people use? Let me take a look at some of these FFS teams, the future stars really quick. Did any of these rise today from where they were? I wasn't looking at graphs today during the 6 p.m. content drop for most of these. So I don't know if these really rose up or if they're the same. Actually, I do think Rodrigo was like 730 at one point earlier today. He was 730, boom, right there. So 730, 740, he rebounded right quick right back to 780, 782, which right now he's a little bit down again, 775, but there's not a ton of money to be made on a card like that. But if you're looking at a card that a lot of people just use for weekend league, there's definitely gonna be fluctuations with some of those. Maybe Emerson as a right back in La Liga. Did he do anything today around the content drop? He was down at 174, 180 below 180K for a little bit and then popped right back up to 190 where he is now. So just watch that kind of stuff, right? Premier League informs, Premier League's out-of-packs cards, like other special cards. I use this Fabinho as an example again. 
Uh, this is the type of stuff that you can trade with every single week. When these promo cards come out, when these promo teams come out, you see fluctuations like this all the time. So Fabinho's in form right now looks to be 95,000 coins-ish. Yeah, so just over 90,000 coins is what you can you can get this Fabinho to sell for. Um, and he was 80,000 coins earlier today. So just make a mental note of that Fabinho card. And just, again, take a mental note of who you play in the weekend league, who you come up against. Those are the types of cards that you are going to see being bought back. Of course, Premier League, Brazilian, French, uh, even La Liga with Spanish this year. Stay, stick with the popular leagues, popular nations, and uh, popular cards and you know pop, popular players on this game. Those are the cards that you can buy around the promo time on Friday and sell them into the later night time. It works with icons as well. Uh, because just because they're more rare and it's, it takes a lot for icons to be panic sold and for something to replace icons on the market but stuff you can watch today you can uh, this morning as you're watching this video keep an eye out for some of these new cards the shapeshifters are they going to fluctuate i'm going to be closely watching this lucas mora i think mertens is going to be one that i'm watching pretty closely really just to see if they move up in price if they get how rare they are overnight tonight. So Lucas Mora's got a couple here at 494. How many How many does he have at like 530? How many pages of supply? All right, he's got a couple pages of supply at 530. Will I be overnight flipping these? I don't know. It seems a bit risky to me at the moment. I'm not entirely sure if I'm gonna end up doing that. Um, but if I do, it's gonna be ones that I've seen fluctuate already. Again, Babu was over 400K at one point today. So if I can take a look at this at like 400K, how many are there underneath 400K? um just a couple right now two of them nice so again overnight flipping on these i'm not really sure how it looks at the moment probably not going to mess around with it too much possibly in babu we'll see what happens um but these cards their pack weight from 100k packs i think i saw was like what is it it's 2.8 percent. so 2.8 percent for these shapeshifters players uh which is kind of you know around the run of the mill average what we see for a lot of these promo cards that are in packs so again hopefully today's saturday we get more content, we get SBC content, and if you guys still have high rateds that you're holding on to, I still have a club that is stocked full of high rated golds, keep holding on to those cards, we will get SBCs, those will rise, but of course, just be careful with those, don't panic sell those, right? That's why we do a club stock, you kind of make that investment, chuck it aside in the club, and there will be a point in the future when it does go up, right? So we're not too worried about that yet. If you're unassigned on, on golds and stuff, then I would be a little bit worried because you you really want to get out on signs so that you can do stuff on this game. Um, but other than that, hopefully we get more good content today for Shape Shifters. Week one of a Shape Shifters promo. Solid uh, set one of cards, in my opinion. They're just, they're different. They're cool. Uh, and we'll see what happens throughout the rest of this week. If you guys enjoyed this video, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And subscribe to the channel if you are new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace.